Hi, today I am going to show you how to use OpenOffice.org styles, and we will also talk a little bit about lists as well. Styles determine the look of your text and also the formatting, such as spacing between paragraphs and other things as well. Color, you can really customize um, the, the styles to your liking. When you open a new OpenOffice.org writer document, um, the default text style is, well, default. Um, this is where your text styles can be selected. You know, there's more than five text styles. I'll show you how to get the rest of them later. The default style is very basic. It does not include any um, spacing between paragraphs. So I I'm going to make a, a paragraph here. A very profound sentence there. So here's a paragraph. I start a new paragraph by hitting enter and you'll notice there's no spacing in between the paragraphs. I will select this now and uh, change the style to text body. Text body by default includes spacing between paragraphs. You might be wondering, well, what if I don't want, what if I want to start a new line without causing um, there to be space between the two lines? And the simple answer to that is use shift enter. So here is one line. Shift enter. Here, here is another. You can see they're spaced close together. If I just hit regular enter, then I get more space. Makes sense. Now, uh, the way that these styles work also affects lists. So, for example, if I select default again and I make a list. you'll see that the items are spaced close together. Okay, whereas if I select a text body uh, and I create my list here, you will see that uh, the items are spaced further apart, which is really helpful if you have lists that have lots of text in them. Back to my profound writing. So here's a paragraph, and you can see the spacing. Um, let's say you wanted to have more than one paragraph within a single bullet point. Hit enter. Backspace will get rid of the will get rid of the next number, and you can add another paragraph. And of course, when you hit enter after that, it will resume the numbering, just as you have uh, intended it to. While we're still on the topic of lists. Um, a couple ways that you can customize your lists. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to backtrack for a second and just show you some basic defaults that will help you to uh, have speedier uh, list creation. So, um, to start a list, you can either create the numbered list uh, icon or the bulleted list icon, or you can press F12 on the keyboard to bring up a numbered list, or uh, Shift F12 to start a bulleted list. So we're going to just start a numbered list for now. Actually, no, I changed my mind. I want to do bulleted. Um, so I'll start my list. And uh, let's say I want to have some sub items under this item too. I just hit tab to move forward um, in the list hierarchy. So sub item one, sub item two, and of course you can do keep going. You can do more sub items. I guess this would be a sub sub item. Let's say that I wanted to uh, uh, go back. Just hit Shift Tab, and it'll bring you back. You can continue from where your previous uh, parts of the list were. It's pretty pretty uh, easy to go back and forth within the hierarchy there. Um, you can also do num. You can also switch this over to a numbered list, like that, if you prefer. Um, and there are different types, different styles of numbering. So let's say I want to do more like, whoops, did I click the wrong button? Sorry, I meant to do this one. Bullets and numbering. And um, you can do uh, all kinds of different numbering styles. So I can do, um, you know, like letters like this. Uh, by default, it looks it's just changing the the first style there. I can I can adjust um, I can adjust um, 
each individual level. So I've got A and B, and you can see the after symbol is the parenthesis, 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 whatever. Uh, level two has numbers, and you can see the after symbol is a period. Uh, level three, I'm going to do lower, I'll do the Roman, lowercase Roman numerals like that. Hit OK, and you can see now that's the, the list styles have changed there. Uh, you can also select, if you go to outline, you can select um, previously designed outline styles. Here's the style that I used when I was in school. I remember doing the Roman numerals first like that. <clears throat> okay, so that's a little bit about lists. Uh, let's go back to formatting a bit here because um, there's some really handy shortcuts with formatting. Uh, for example, headers. Um, I have uh, previously loaded a template that I always use for my documents. Um, and that has it has just my favorite formatting for, for my different headers and things like that. Um, so at the end of this, this tutorial, I'll show you how to save your own template. Uh, one of the things I like to do is I like to compose my documents in web view so there's no pages um, showing right away. Um, I do a lot of documentation, so having page divisions it makes no sense for most of the writing that I do. Anyway, to have to get quick access to your headers, you can use the control keys. So, so for example, control one will bring up header one, and I'll do this is all right, my awesome novel, and it will be awesome. And you'll notice that after you hit enter, it immediately goes to the text body style. So that's really helpful um, because you can just start typing right away. Um, blah, 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 blah. Except I want to actually do a second header. So I'm going to do control two. And this is my second header. Uh, this will be the, the title of my first chapter. Chapter one, why I don't like beats. I actually don't mind beats, so I'm not quite sure why I wrote that. But uh, anyway, uh, again, it goes back to text body, so uh, let's see here. Beats taste like dirt. All right, and I will create my pair here. I'll have a couple paragraphs on why beat on how beats taste like dirt, and then my second chapter will be chapter two why I'm in denial about beets um, beets are healthy for you there we go alright so I got a couple paragraphs so of course you know you spread this out over pages and pages and pages of writing and let's say you want to change the way that uh, your document is formatted. For example, let's say maybe you don't like the way that the chapter headers uh, look. Well, let's uh, bring up the styles and formatting menu. The way you do, there's there's three different ways you can do that. Uh, one is by selecting the styles menu here and just clicking more. And you'll see the styles and formatting window comes up. You can also find it in the format menu right here. And the third way is to assign a hotkey to it and just bring it up with the stroke of a key. Uh, so by default, par your paragraph styles um, are listed. It doesn't actually list all of them. Uh, if you click on this button down here, you can select all styles. And you can see there really are a lot of predefined paragraph styles for you to use. Um, and you can see here is text body. We want to find uh, heading 2. Where is heading 2? Here it is. Right click on it and go modify. All right, and we're going to go font. And uh, what should I do? I'm going to do Astron Boy. Astron Boy is a cool font, and I want it to be a different color. So we'll change it to this dark red. There, I like that. That's cool looking. Now let's say I want my uh, my text body um, paragraphs to start with an indent on each line. Well, simply um, I'll find text body, here it is, and I will right click that and go modify, and uh, let's see, indents and spacing, and uh, here's the first line, I'll set that to 0.5, so half an inch, hit OK, 
and you'll see no, you'll notice now that all of my paragraphs start with a half inch indent at the beginning of the first line. Um, I could also have used the text body indent style right here, which basically does th the same thing right here, in case you couldn't see that. All right, uh, for now, well, actually, no, that's fine. I'm going to leave that alone. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to save your defaults. So let's say you've customized your your title, your, your, your first heading, second heading, and your paragraph styles for what you will use frequently. Uh, you can save it as a, as a template. Um, I'm just going to clear this out and set the first um, the first text style as text body. And uh, so whenever a new document's opened, it'll start with the text body so I get the spacing between the paragraphs and I get the indent. Uh, and now I'm going to save that as a template by going to the File menu, Templates, Save. Um, and so I have my template selected. It'll save it in that category, and I'm going to call it my awesome template. Yay! Hit OK. Uh, now whenever you want to um, start a new document using that template, you can simply go File, New, Templates and Documents. And under Templates, you've got My Templates. Double click that, My Awesome Template. And then a new document will be created uh, using that template. Um, another thing you can do is set that as your default template. So when you open up Writer, it will be uh, already set to that. And so to do that, simply go to the File menu, Templates, Organize. Double click on My Templates and select My Awesome Template. Right click set as default template. It's that simple. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and that it's made your life better somehow. Bye.